We all know the story of the shepherds and the kings who came to visit the baby Jesus in Bethlehem, but neither is in the same gospel. So do you know which of the four gospels tells us about the kings and which gospel tells us about the shepherds? The answer is Matthew for the kings, Luke for the shepherds. Okay. We at Cancel all love a sing song, especially at Christmas. Can you tell me which Christmas favourite was first featured in the 1942 film Holiday Inn? The answer is White Christmas. Something I love to do at Christmas is sit down with a nice cup of tea or hot chocolate and watch a Christmas movie. And one of my favourites is Miracle on 34th Street. Can you tell me who plays the role of Kris Kringle in the 1994 remake? And the answer is Richard Attenborough. The Christmas Carol. The 12 days of Christmas has it lots of strange and wonderful gifts, but if you added up all the gifts given in the song, how many would you have? And the answer is 364. One gift for every day of the year, except Christmas. I always love spending the day putting up the Christmas decorations and getting all ready for Christmas. But can you tell me from which German town, more famous for a less festive reason, does tinsel come from? And the answer is Nuremberg. In It's a Wonderful Life, George Bailey learns how to love life again and enjoy Christmas time. And according to the film, can you tell me what happens whenever a bell rings? The answer is, an angel gets its wings. Can you tell me which Christmas number one single from the 1980s starts with the line, The Child is a King? Carolers sing. The answer is Mistletoe and Wine by Cliff Richard. After the visit of the wise men, an angel appeared and told them not to tell Herod where Jesus was, and they went home another way. But where did Mary, Joseph, and Jesus escape to? The answer is Egypt. Queen Elizabeth II is the only British monarch to have ever given a Christmas speech on television after her grandfather George V started the tra tradition on radio. But at what time is it broadcast every year? The answer is 3 p.m. And the last question. In 2013, which divisive vegetable that commonly forms part of a Christmas dinner was able to supply enough power to light up a Christmas tree in London? And the answer is Brussels sprouts. <laughs>